what I want to do tonight is uh, rework or redo something that I had uh, worked on a while back. Um, I, essentially, I was playing cyberpunk and just driving along and um, it's got cool synth music and that kind of stuff. And there was a sound I wanted to remake. Um, and I did. And I lost the file. I lost the project. So I thought I would actually just redo it. And why not redo it live on Twitch and do some uh, some cool synth driving music or something like that uh, live on Twitch. And just enjoy myself uh, doing it. And maybe show how to get those kind of cool sounds. Uh, this is the uh, plugin I use. It's called Tyrell by you. Yuhi, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, it's is it free? I'm pretty much it's, sure it's free, but it's a cool synth. You can just uh, it was like a PZ type of sound. Um, is it one of those? It's something like that. I think it was uh, something like that with a ton of echo as well. Um, Some rhythmical pattern like that, and then with a ton of echo, it's gonna sound um, actually better. What's cool is that it's sort of uh, because it's only what it's uh, it's two two bars. Yeah, it's it's long enough, and when we're gonna put an echo in it, I'm gonna put two reverb. That's what I did the last time, and the two reverbs are um, two delays, and two delays are. Um, offbeat as well so it's going to create a texture that repeats but do doesn't repeat after two bars By the way, you're going to hear that a lot. Uh, so some delay, and there's a few delays I like. Uh, case delay. So we're going to randomize the velocity. Oh yeah, we're set before here. So perfect. And velocity is how hard you hit the note, so or that kind of stuff. Because I want a bit of movement and flow, but instead of having it fixed, we can randomize it. Uh, so, so what we have here is I've set a, a velocity curve of uh, between sixty-nine and eighty-nine, and um, randomize like eighteen minus or plus. Uh, between those values and uh, yeah so the minimum is this maximum is this and it's uh, 18 above and 18 under so it just creates a bit more flow and something a bit less kind of just harsh and, and uh, mechanical than what we just had so i'm gonna add another reverb on top of this delay not a reverb i rarely use a reverb uh, stanford will do on this much lower so here we have just echo or dry uh, I don't want a lot of this echo it's a secondary echo how's that sound it's better isn't it? it's closer to what we had okay there was one last thing that I remember doing that actually just uh, it was adding a second and just this every second and third
uh, I had another layer of this, so I essentially copied it and I had done something to it. So we're going to do that. I think I lowered it by two octaves or one octave. I think it was just one octave, but I had a different. That was it. Next, I think we're going to redo that bass. We're going to use Tyrell again uh, because I like the sound of it. That was it. No. Let's add some drums. What did I have for drums? So drums were just the standard Ableton Live uh, uh, drum racks. I think I just had a, for the snare, I had a classic, I had a classic 505, which is this guy um, here, but I used, I just used the, uh, the patch here. Uh, and I had something else for the kick. <laughs> That's all there was. <laughs> you know, I spent hours and hours on my uh, acoustic stuff, just uh, learning the piece and recording and getting the sound right and for each track. And when you use synths like that, you can just, uh, that's it, you got a drum section. <laughs> Thank you very much for the sub, dude. Roughly, really roughly, I think it's super low in the mix as well. We just want that kind of... Because it rises. We get that initial bell sound. And then if you... high or that's what as far as I'd gone the last time the only thing I, uh, I had done the last time which is bring all these uh, gradually and just automate the, uh, the volume fade I'm used to the uh, automation system for for Acid Pro and uh, um, Ableton still throws me a little bit uh, but I think that's it folks uh, that's as, as far as I'm going to uh, take it on this one uh, I'm just uh, re pretty much redone the entire project and uh, it's exactly where it was before I lost the uh, project file. So that's it. Uh, thank you very much, folks, for, for joining the stream. Thanks for the chat. Uh, thanks for listening um, to my bad piano playing. But uh, folks, uh, thank you very much. Have a good night. I'll chat to you soon. Good night.